Hi, my name is Maximilian Giel. I'm an alpine and mountain photographer. And today I want to talk about my favorite gear for mountain and alpine and adventure photography for the year 2021. And yeah, as you know, I'm a big fanboy of Canon cameras. I've been shooting with Canon probably all the time. I tried Sony a bit, but never really liked it. So yeah, I stick with Canon, I guess so. And so my main camera these days for mountain photography is this one, the Canon EOS R5. Um, for me, it's, it's uh, for sure, it's a heavy camera, but it has so many advantages that I'm always willing to take this camera with me. Um, with its 45 megapixels, I'm able to crop a lot into the image and this helps because often I'm not able to actually change the lenses um, or I even don't even bring another lens than just the 15 to 35 and so I can crop in there um, and so when I have 35 and crop in there 100% I still have 22 megapixels around like that and I have a 70 millimeter focal length so this is pretty handy um, to be honest and I mentioned already um, another lens but the lens I have attached here is the RF 70-200 f4 and for me it's just the perfect lens ever um, I love to shoot with telephoto lenses in the mountains and this one is just the perfect kind of size to weight ratio and you can lock it that if you have it in your backpack you can change it um, it changes the length when you actually um, when you when you zoom in but um, in the backpack it comes in pretty handy if you remove the I mean look at this <laughs> that's crazy well done Canon I'm really I'm really amazed of this and so you have like this um, it's a 77 uh, millimeter diameter for any filters so this is also pretty good to know because I have a lot of 77 uh, millimeter filters and yeah so that's that's what I use for for like for the mountains for sunrises wherever and my always good to go lens is this one the 15 to 35 um, for me it's the perfect lens to have it always on the camera um, because i can shoot portraits with it i can shoot really ultra wide landscape it's really um, a fast lens so i can shoot also night and sky photography um, milky way photography all this kind of stuff and so these kind of lenses these two are just like for me the perfect combination when I shoot in the mountains and there's one more lens what I want to tell you about um, that I might bring um, when I shoot for a brand um, and this is the the 50 f 1.2 um, it's probably one of the sharpest lenses I've ever owned um, for sure it's heavy but it's incredible with the bouquet and I simply just love this lens and I yeah I really love to shoot with a fixed lens and with the 50 millimeters it's really really cool um, to try something new and yeah really can recommend to buy a good 50 millimeter uh, lens and you will have a lot of fun with this kind of stuff and yeah I think that's the that's the thing. Um, I have also the Canon EOS RP. This one is filming me right now, and I break bring this if I really look for the gram. And it's also really good in low light performance because it has less megapixels, so you will have the better um, low light performance than with the R5. And yeah, I think that's probably my two main cameras. If I shoot for an event or a brand where I need a little bit more resolution, I have still the EOS R, which is also a really good camera. But for sure, <laughs> if it really matters, I bring the R5. Yeah, I think that's it what I usually bring. Um, if I do film, I bring uh, some ND filters, um, variable ND. Right now I have on there the Peter McKinnon 
um, variable and the uh, really can recommend this one uh, this is not sponsored by the way um, they are really expensive those filters but they are really 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 perfect so if you want to buy a variable ND filter look for these these are really great and yeah I think that's it um, if you have any questions about my gear or whatever just leave it in the comments down below and if you want to stay updated see more tours and reviews and tips and tricks just hit that subscribe button and yeah I promise you it's for free and if you do so I will see you in the next video have a wonderful day from Fuka Pass